curiosity hanging on this contest. Newly crowned tag champions against UKW's elite. Nice thought. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, I'll give you a chance to rewind that statement there, Lawrence. Just see how this match pans out. Well, Leon Blade is not going to, I don't think he's going to win this battle. Francis Darwin hasn't got him grounded. Waistlock applied, strong waistlock, equally strong. Belly to back takedown. Rolls him in, shoulders down. I must apologise to you in advance, I do have a lot riding on this match. So if I go slightly quiet, it's just cleaving where I am, taking note of what is happening. I think I'll have it covered. So Leon Blake quickly tagging out there. I don't think he was quite ready for Darwin. The change of Darwin's style though, as you see. Darwin breaks the hold instantly, winning the ropes. Oh, rough shot, Sedgwick. High angle suplex. A2J hitting the mat hard. Hit toss connects, lateral press. Referee a touch slow down there. Why did you do that, Ray? Sedgwick just giving them a little reminder of that. Back off the road, Sedgwick, big back elbow connects from Sedgwick. The, uh, the Dragon always here, he wanted to fly Sedgwick's teaching how to hit this match. Sedgwick looking really ready for this. I'm guessing this is what you'll want to see. Hey, it was the, I mean, Sedgwick had came in Carlisle with his mind. Backbreaker for such a long, long time. We set up tournaments that were built to get Sedgwick's mind off Cayman Carlisle. Second back there, none of them have worked. So I thought, well, how about we just throw him together with a team that can have his back? And lo and behold, this is, this is the result. We believe him being solo for so long has taken his mind off again. Yeah, he, he's now got people looking at him. He's always been fighting the cause on his own. Yeah, he's had to deal. With, uh, with five people on his own. Now he's got five, with well, four people, sorry, watching his back. He can concentrate solely on reading the world of the collective. Darwin is just playing at the moment with A2J. I don't think that will be ready for this. Darwin, the Cedric have been say the least intense and Leon Blade trying to help his partner out here and Darwin is taking him down off the apron. Then another tag, Sedgwick and Darwin working as a team here and Altitude need to just regroup here, realise that they are the tag champions. And A2J went for the crossbody, it failed, caught by Sedgwick who was looking very powerful in the opening stages. The smile on Cedric's face is a smile we've not seen for quite a long time. I was going to say, that's been uh, rather few and far between as of late. Cedric and Leon Blair with a hit to the back which stopped the momentum of the CEO there. And now, as a joke on the ropes, this is some very different offence than we've seen from Altitude in recent, recent months. They are playing it nasty tonight. Blair putting the boots in. Increasingly frustrated on the ring here from those quick tags now. Altitude working as a unit for the first time tonight. Doing what they do best. The rapid tags. Boot across the face. Leon Blade up over the top. Two feet into the solar plexus. Flash arrogance showing. Leon Blade just getting in the face of Darwin. Just rattling his cage momentarily. Where Sedgwick still takes the punishment. Just to point out, Darwin trying to get this crowd behind Jonathan Sedgwick. And I can only see say it. And he never thought I'd have seen that. Well, we've seen a lot of things in recent weeks we thought we didn't see. And tonight could well be the same. I never thought I'd see Altitude's mean streak like they've shown at the moment. Double suplex. Rolling A2J. 
dropping down Cedric. Oh, look at play there. And this is this is a different side of it of the tag champs. I can't understand maybe the goal's gone to the head here. Raven, yeah, he's, 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 he's quick tags, they are very much in control of this contest all of a sudden. It has been a huge pendulum swing. Cedric's off the ropes hardly with Grace. He's dropped with a double hip toss. Little blade in the face. Yeah, it is. Again. Bravely in the face of Darwin. Cedric, no stranger to having those legs worked on. And Blade, eyes glazed over, needs to make the tag to his partner, Cedric, likewise. One tag made, two tags made, Darwin in, A2J, and now we've got a battle. Massive forearm to the back. Snap suplex. We've seen him roll through several times. Two of them, and another. Darwin holding on. Looking for that third one. Not the legal man. And now he's going to get the same treatment. Snap three points again. Duo. Is he going to make it a thrice? If he goes, and this time A2J is turned to help his partner out. We've got both guys in here now. Double suplex attempt. Cedric's in the ring. Cedric's in the ring. Referee struggling to get control here. Oh, yeah. wait a minute! Double suplex. The double quad suplex, whatever you want to call it. Innovative offense, and the tank chance taken out at the same time. Darwin looking to bury those elbows into the face of A2J. A2J Cooper his hands up there, but he's clasping those hands. You know you're champion. Hawkins strikes isn't going to stop anything. He wants that armbar. He may just get it. He's broken the grip. He's standing straight in that press. That shooting star out of nowhere. But it broke the hold. And saved the tag team champions there from a, a defeat. One point hits the ropes. Doing the ropes with a suicide dive. Takes out both members. Altitude to showing what they're made of now. Put in a beating. Hey, I've never seen them this old business. Put in a beating on a Naga champion, a former UK wrestling heavyweight champion. Blade just signaled to the crowd that he's going to finish it now. Blade, look at Blade, he's looking to end this. And on recent. Recent reasons why not, Springboard, or if he comes and no! He's got the choke! Where's the choke? He's got the choke! It's a J in the ring, that was low! That was low, I don't think the referee saw it, Lawrence, did he? Did he see that low blow? No, no, he's, he did! I don't believe that! What the hell did we just see from the Nancy J and Anthony? Rosie Starwin and Jonathan Sedgwick have won due to a disqualification. That's a great call from the official. But Altitude continuing this assault. What is going on here? Playing with a high knee. ATJ likewise. Sedgwick is back in there. Altitude here, isn't it? Oh, my goodness sake. And a low blow there from. The second low blow, the first one gained a disqualification. That was needless. Darwin 
Cameron said what needs to be prepared though because this is what we're facing with the what, collective. You believe that's what this is? This is a this is sort of a a crash course for them. Shot by what I've just seen, I'm not lying. Two love words. Well, a disqualification has nothing to victory to Jonathan Cedric and Francis Darwin, but certainly wasn't the way they would have wanted to win that contest. Prepared. They don't look it right now, but mentally, possibly they are. What do you think we've gained from that, Lawrence? I think we've gained that the uh, the tag team champions have been spurred on by gold, and that uh, Sedgwick and Darwin, Michaels and Savage, and whoever we get to be the fifth member of Team UKW, <laughs> need to be careful because what I saw from Attitude here and now is exactly the way you want to fight fire with fire, is what you're saying. That, that's the only way. But you can you can throw water on fire. It doesn't necessarily work. Uh, I don't think uh, 
these are great elbow there. You comedic games. Well, comedic is the word. Jumping. It's a tremendous offense here from Cannonette. He might have it already. Nice no, angle outside. Two and a half. That was very close for the early stages. Young Ho Mutley uh, making himself a. Well, he said he's no laughing matter. I'm thinking with the name Mutley, maybe no snickering matter may have been uh, more appropriate. Just taking his time here on the outside, he's not gonna he's in no hurry to get back in there with Cannon Hayes, who's pretty good up to now. He uh, wants to be appreciated by this dude general manager. He needs to do more than uh, run around doing damage to himself. Especially making an enemy out of me. Oh, wait a minute, Mutley's attempt to the to the midsection was thwarted. Jumps over the back, nice athleticism, showing he has got some physical ability. Stomping on the back of the leg there as well. Side headlock tightly applied from Mutley, teasing the ropes and bringing Dan Hayes back to the centre. Again, that is uh, foolishness in my part. The, uh, the, uh, gives Cannon that opportunity and Cannon takes it, he's just kind of shot himself in the foot. And there's missing with a clothesline. Nice reversal from Gungo Mutley. And Cannon Hayes put the brakes on. Brings down the, the top rope from Gungo Mutley to the outside hard. Baseball side drop kick through the bottom rope. Cannon Hayes finding gears here. Stiff right hand. To the barricade and bouncing his head off. This match stepping up again here. Cannon Hayes will give it that suplex on the match on the outside. There's no give out there. Oh. Buckley stopping that endeavor. Cannon Hayes hitting the ring post. Oh. Both these guys very new to this. UKW scene, so experience is really no factor in this. And a strong slam onto the unforgiving ground there from Gung Ho Mutley. And Gung Ho Mutley, though, showing he's uh, got some brains about him somewhere. Managing to break that count. Got the leg hooked here. Is he going to get the fall? Karen Hayes managing to kick out before the three. Nice leaping lariat there from Cannon Hayes, and again. A huge headbutt, massive headbutt there. Elevated headbutt, don't know who he did more damage to. Cannon Hayes, but yeah. Reverse DDT position into the net breaker. Is that going to be the difference maker right there? Pops the leg. And Cannon Hayes only gets a two count, but bouncing from one big move to another there. Molly uh, looks to be a little bit like he's rattled the dog's cage right now. Mutley we've found already is easily rattled. Cannon Hayes, nice. Reversing manoeuvre there and takes her legs out. Beautiful sliding drop kick there. Another one this time to the ribs. Cannon Hayes could not muster the strength there to roll under that bottom rope and get a bit of space between him and Mutley. Nice swishing and suplex with a bridge. And a two and a half. Prepared us against the Mutley. Beautiful. Fisherman suplex there. Yeah, he doesn't want to be a laughing matter, and maybe, uh, maybe he's going about proving himself right here tonight. He's certainly become all purpose all of a sudden. This is what Gungo Mutley is going to need. He's going to take out a man with the vitality that Cannon Hayes has. Obviously, we've seen Cannon Hayes before. Right, he fell a bit short to Tom Steele, but uh, he's, uh, he's knocked off a former Academy champion in the Jester Jailer before tonight. That is true. And he manages to halt Mutley as he scales that second rope, and now they're up there in no kind of territory they really want to be in. Head from Cannon Hayes there, trying to weaken. 
they're trying to bring him off with a suplex here, but Motley with a couple of shots of the ribs. Elton that the progress there and a headbutt, headbutt of his own. Using Cannon Hayes' prior offence against him. Motley on the second row, drops the elbow, across the sternum, puts the leg. Motley for the, the win. Oh, and Hayes kicks out at the last second. That was an affirmative too, I think. And, uh, Motley's in the right place in town, not arguing. You can't have a referee. It's that time, you can't give him that, that rest fight. Favoring him. Hey, no, no nonsense. Assault there with the forearms across the. He, what's he looking to do here? He's looking the bridge of the nose. And what's look, he doing? Look, looking to. Uh, he's playing with the, the turnbuckle top there. He's trying to undo that turnbuckle. That didn't. That proved fruitless. Cannon Hayes looking for the DDT. There's a roll up. And two, the referee is. Three. He's too busy adjusting the pads that Mutley had. Mutley had this match. What a bad break for Gunho Mutley. But he, it was his own wrongdoing now. And you've got to admit, if he hadn't been over there in the first place, that would have happened. There's a roll up, there's a roll up, stacks him up, gets the win! Cannon Hayes is victorious! start off a match against one of these guys? Well some of them you can get any style from any other wrestler and maybe Jamie might have that kind of style of being very technical or very being a brawler such as yeah so obviously as we've seen that um, Jamie is somebody who can adapt uh, very strong showing in the rumble. Um, now we all know my opinions on like <laughs> the morals of professional wrestling, but um, Ali makes a point of not liking the arrogance of some of these guys, like Darwin before and like Baron this time around. What is your opinion on guys, guys like taking a, taking a breather here? What is your opinion on guys like this? Uh, having an air of confidence around them. Well, some people do have problems, well, not have problems, but do like to show a way of disrespect to their other competitors. Now, Jamie looks like he's going to go for high angle back suplex there, goes to cover. Two count. 
to say I've got no problem with people being confident. They have to be confident in this business. What I don't like is people coming out with a smug smile on their face looking like they're on the world. What? Jamie with a big suplex. But then when they perform to such a high standard, like Baron does, like Darwin does, like Dylan does, why shouldn't why shouldn't they why shouldn't they be smug? Why shouldn't they grin? It should be enough to know that you you go without parading yourself from like a like a floozy. But then I beg but then I beg the question. If if knowing your good alone should matter, why do we bring audiences in? If you think about it, they're there, they're there to appreciate the people that we have here. So if they want to come out and they want to smile and sort of strut about, why not? They've earned the right to do so. As regards to the fans, it's always good to have someone in the corner. It's always great to have support, but I just, I just don't like the whole swagger thing. You know, it's, it's just, if you, if you want to be here for the fans, then you're not going to endear yourself by strutting about like a cockroach. Big Pele kick from Tom Steele. Got him right in, right in the head there. Seemed to knock Baron for six. Big Drop. running knee. Jimmy rolling out of the ring. Smart move by Baron there. Knows that he can't lose on the outside. Taking some time, gathering himself. Uh, focusing his breathing. Tom doesn't seem over fast to uh, pursue him there. I think, I think still needs to recover for a bit. Still aching from those kicks from Jamie. And what double foot stomp from the apron onto the outside. They've got to be careful here though. As you can see the referee starting his count then. Steel back to his feet. Steel going for something now as well. Went to the second. We're going to go for a double foot stop. I'm to the midsection. Rolling here, back in now. Both men back in the ring. Baron to his feet, steel to his feet. Steel. Face first. It's quite an impressive move. I'm not sure I got all of it. Cover. Only a two count. Perhaps I didn't get enough of that sit out face buster. Steel cannot believe that. Bowen kicked out a two. Oh, that face buster. Now, what's it? No. Dropped squarely on his head then. Going for the pin. One. Kick out at two. I don't know many people that could kick out of that after being dropped on the head. Well, this is, this is why Baron has the right to be arrogant, or not even arrogant, just confidence. You know, he clearly, he, he's clearly proving that he can get the job done, so... Two! Oh, I, don't think, I don't think Baron knows where he is. Steel trying to recover from his wins. Hit to the gut. Rolling elbow. Oh, um. Shinuku driver. One, two, three. Oh, what a big
Wrestling Heavyweight Championship belt. And this match is scheduled for one fall. Signals. We don't believe the feeling. Alec Michaels walking out of here and retaining his championship. Or is there to be another shot? Anything is possible. Michaels or Keith, lock up. Obviously, let's not forget they were part of that tag team together. They know each other very, very well. Certainly adds a new, an extra dimension to this contest. Snapmer a takeover from Alec Michaels. Alec Michaels has a real smile on his face if you've noticed throughout. Goal can change some people, as you saw with Altitude earlier. Did it changed Michaels for the better? Single leg takedown by O'Keefe. He's now trying to work that leg if he can turn Michaels over for an ankle up there, maybe. Michaels transitioning into that side headlock. He says, takes him over. O'Keefe looking for those head scissors and finding them. Michaels looking to negotiate a way out of this and does so. Michaels at O'Keefe's arm down for a little bit. Potential count, but I think the referee missed that one. We know O'Keefe can put on a technical masterclass. We saw him take on Francis Darwin not too long ago and wrestle hole for hole with somebody like Darwin. So we know he can wrestle. Has he got enough in the tank to maybe outbox? Arguably the most, the most wily character we've got here at UK Wrestling. Michaels with a shoulder deep in the midsection. Springboard through the ropes with a crossbody. Alec Michaels, amazing evasion of the clothesline there. Back hook kick and then a standing in to Guru nearly takes O'Keefe's head off. Hook fire off and Sean Alec Michaels drop kick into the corner. Northern Lights, elevated, beautiful move. Bridges up. Here fall. That's how close already Alec Michaels is taking Billy O'Keefe. One second away though. Cravat on O'Keefe there. Old school cravat there from Michaels, but O'Keefe turning him over. This is where I. It is evident that these two know each other very well. The flying knee there by the looks of it. Almost a lariat with the knee there. Dropping the knee again, this time across the jaw. Hooks the leg looking to. Just worry Michaels with it, with quick pinfalls in the early stages. Billy Keith, I think he's going to match up Alec Michaels stride for stride in this. Backside, backside, shoulders down. No, Keith rolling out of one this time. No, Keith having to elevate himself out of that pinning predicament there pretty rapidly. As we turn off the wall. Holding on, Jack knife. holds it through, jackknife pin, and two count only. Credit to O'Keefe, he's not, he's not run away from this fight like he has been doing as of late. Tight with that headlock, applied, it's applied there for Michaels. O'Keefe doesn't know where he is, Hurricane Rana, and O'Keefe bailing out of the bottom rope here and needs some time, I think, to adjust. To this whirlwind of offense we've seen so far from the champion. The champion is agreeing with confidence, nothing he does puts a foot wrong. He's still out oh, and the springboard attempt was halted by a boot to the face from Billy O'Keefe. It goes back to saying how well these two men know each other. I think Michael's looking for his favorite aerial attack there. Triangle, cross body over the top. To the outside, and O'Keefe scouted that, kicks him right in the face. O'Keefe, the aggressor here, has to take the fight to Michaels if he wants to take that championship back to the collective. O'Keefe just building momentum. The question that we would need to ask is where would O'Keefe's position be within the collective if he does take home the title tonight? Because we all know that 
that came and Carlisle is the undivided leader of the collective. Legs up there and Kevin, you were quite right there, and she's got to win it. I don't think one of these, any of these guys are going to settle for a joint leadership. As it stands at the moment, there's already tension in the collective camp. Cayman Carlisle and Henry Winter were at each other's throats. And that's been evident by the performance in the ring. And the, 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 the results the, in the ring, should I say. Exactly, but those who are so caught up with whatever they've got going on for oh, each other. Calf crusher. crusher. Out of nowhere there. Beautiful transition into the calf crusher. And Billy O'Keefe has got to turn this and does so. He's turned into an armbar. That is impressive skills from Billy O'Keefe. Leg sweep. Oh, and he's got the he's got the shoulders down there, Michaels. And O'Keefe quickly escaping that. Michaels burying the shoulder into the midsection. Up over the back. He's got it. He's got it. And once again, O'Keefe having to get out of these pinfall predicaments. Was he looking for this one? Through, he's crucifixed him. He's got it. Has he got it? No. These rapid, rapid pins and a spin kick there. Oh, Michael's almost a maestro. Oh, into the. Has he got it? No. It's a mock by Canadian destroyer there from Michael's, who is pulling everything out of the arsenal tonight. Exactly. Michael has already claimed he'll be the leader for Team UKW. Not sure how that's it with Jonathan Sedgwick, but evident from his recent performances that we could really argue with Michaels on that. He is the champion. He has the goal to back it up. And Michaels misfiring with that clothesline. Backside attempt from O'Keefe. He's got him up there. Powerbomb. There's a jackknife powerbomb there. Letting Michaels fall. Michael suffering the track now, I think. That one move has made a difference. There's a leg hook from O'Keefe. He may have left it too long and has Michael's shoulders out. To my point that I was making earlier about collective leadership, we went to Carlisle, neither of them are here today. Assuming that they're still fighting each other. Michael's a Dental work might be in order there. Jaw first into that guardrail. Michaels again wisely just keeping some distance between himself and O'Keefe. Yeah. We need a game a long time. He knows what he's doing as O'Keefe. Hey, sorry, Michaels even. Again, bouncing his head off the, uh, the guardrail to the left of us now. O'Keefe can be callous. He'll do anything it takes to get the job done. Also, you say as well, Lawrence, about these two guys being former teammates. That's got away on the mind as well. This, the pride can be quite a dangerous thing. And when uh, you're both looking to show that you're in the best team that we've got right now, all the pride involved, there's honour. That's the that flip attempt. Cross arm breaker again. Cross arm breaker is in this time. He's locked it. The foot into the face of Michaels. Who had a talk on the collar and the shoulder there. That negates Michaels' ability to turn this, but he is doing his thunders to it. And to his credit, he managed it, but O'Keefe putting an end to that. Failure for Michaels right now. Obviously, we saw. A broken, a broken arm on the last show. Alexis Falcon, I know we don't want to see another by Shelby Sarah. So again, the collective employee. That would be catastrophic for Alec Michaels having just captured the title. Michaels is managing to minimise the pressure as best he can. That joint was tested, was pulled to its limits there, but he managed to free himself. Michaels with a boot to the midsection, using those kicks to great effect. Just that takeover and back on that arm. Yeah, he's really working that. With the shoulder, the elbow. So Keith doing here, turning him in knots. Oh, that 
could have separated the shoulder. He could have separated his shoulder with that move right there. The arm is not supposed to bend in that direction. And now that top wrist lock applied from O'Keefe. The damage done, in my opinion, just putting a gloss on it. Kicking at the arm as well. Just kicking it as if it was a, a football. Well, here trying to get behind Alec Michaels. I believe Alec Michaels is working the rest of this match with one arm, Lawrence. Michaels need to uh, get back to a vertical base right now. Michaels with what could be a hyper-extended shoulder, we don't know, but he is managing to fight back with his good arm. That right arm scoring with a multitude of forearms there. And O'Keefe quickly back on Michaels, making sure he has no respite, and now using the ropes. He is damaging those upper limbs as best he can here. You've got to realise if his arms are out of use, he cannot use those springboard offences that he's so capable of. Exactly. No, much of his offence is limited. Is, they're up there in dangerous territory here. Michaels dropped down onto the apron and swept, swept the legs of Billy O'Keefe. He's now hung up on the second row. Strength to springboard net breaker. He says so much for not using springboards. I take it all back. He's jumping for a reason. He's trying to get some feeling back in that arm. Yeah. Michael's an accomplished athlete. He will not let something like that stand in his way of retaining this championship. I believe he's feeling the effects of that springboard, but it's certainly giving him an opportunity here. We're looking to finish this off. And the second one. He's sent to the corner. Using the one good arm that he's got. Using the legs for the springboard that time. Hit the forearm in the side of the face. Alec Michaels looking to put the full stop on this contest. This championship contest. Stiff kick, catching O'Keefe in the sternum. Second row, I say moonsault. O'Keefe caught that right across the solar plexus. He needs to make the cover. He needs to make the cover. He gets a loose leg hook. Is that going to be enough? Two and a half. O'Keefe, wherewithal to kick out there. This title match continues. Remember, Alec Michaels won the championship with that very manoeuvre. Simon Carlisle showed the dink come up for three that time. Michael put everything behind that. He tried to use that left arm and failed. But he uh, caught him with a sweet uppercut on the way back. Oh, and the legs taken out this time by O'Keefe. By any means necessary. Over he goes. And there it is again. Michael's trying to get some sound out of this crowd. Billy O'Keefe has that arm, but that arm breaker, that cross arm breaker set in here. Michaels has to turn it, or his championship's leaving it. He was in the ropes there, but um, Michaels just rolled straight through. Great use of the ropes there from Michaels, managing to use everything he had to roll himself out there. High knee, up on the shoulders. Rubbing at that arm. O'Keefe fighting for everything he's got. Dropped all into that second rope. O'Keefe draped over the second rope. Back into that arm. Is it Michael's time now? Oh, oh it's a reverse inverted. Inverted 619, you're right, Lawrence. Is that gonna be the move that puts Billy O'Keefe down? For the three, Michaels has to do something now. He's gonna have to ignore the pain. Springboard, he missed so, it. Saw it coming, saw the move coming. Okay for the roll up. Okay, he's pulled him up. A kick out a one there by Michaels. Wait, oh, the Hurricane Rana. He's, he's got it, he's got it. Has he got it? He has. Michaels has retained the championship.